I didn't fall in love with you. I walked in love with you, with my eyes wide open, choosing to take every step along the way with you. I've fallen for you again and again, countless times, without reservation, and still can't believe that today I get to marry my best friend. Let us begin by thanking and praising God for this glorious day and His presence that is with each one of us here today. As we recognize that it is God's love that brings us together as one, let us surround Aaron and Heather with God's love and our prayers. Heather asked me last time that the name will ever be used in a sentence. We are the absolute love of my life, and I've known it since the first night we met. Heather Cummins. It's got a good ring to it. You, you have fit into this family since day one, since the day we met you on our boat dock at the lake house. Amy knew at that time that you were the one. She did. I am so proud of the man that you've become. You've been up and down through many different seasons, but look at you now. You're a freaking hammer. You're handsome, you're strong, you're brave, you're successful, you're confident, and now you're married to a woman who makes you better than you've ever been. You married up, and I love you, brother, very much. Heather, you look absolutely beautiful tonight. Since you and Aaron have been together, I've seen him smile longer, laugh deeper, cry harder, drink a little less, golf a little more, and love with everything he has. You did to Aaron what only some men ever truly have the privilege of experiencing. You made him whole. The love and chemistry you two have for each other is truly undeniable and something to be proud of and something I truly admire. Everyone who has had you a part of their life is lucky to know you, and I'm the luckiest. Today, I commit my life to you as your wife. You're my soulmate, Erin, and I promise to let you know that every day. All of me will always love all of you forever. So some quick marriage advice and then I'll wrap it up. I promise. Number one, don't wrap it up. Bless this marriage, O oh God, as they begin their journey down the road of life together. We know not what lies ahead, for the road turns and bends, but help them to make the best of whatever comes their way. Help them to continue to enjoy as they did when they first met. Help them to realize that nothing nor no one is perfect and to look for the good in all things and people, including themselves. We like boxes. Oh.
I've been saying it for a while now, but I am positive that you are the perfect fit for Biggs. I've really enjoyed every chance that I've had to spend time with you, and I couldn't have built a better woman for my brother. I vow to love you, trust you, be loyal to you, be faithful, and keep the fire that we've had lit without it ever going out until my very last breath. Three, two, one, go! All right, Aaron, my big boy. I didn't know if this day would ever come. We're so proud of you and all that you've done and the man that you've become in your life, Lord. God gave you a good girl. You better love her with all your heart and everything you got. If you're gonna cheat, Aaron, you cheat death every day. If you're gonna fight, you always fight for your brother. If you're gonna steal, you steal your woman's heart away every day. May you have love, health, and wealth, but most importantly, may you have the time to enjoy it all. I love you both. Congratulations. Aaron, from today, I entrust you with the care and protection of my daughter. And I know that you're up to that task. You will always be there for her in every way possible. And for that, I am truly grateful. I've been praying for this moment for the past 30 years, and I thank God every day that he put you in my life. I love you more than words can describe, babe. Let's go do this damn thing. Let us continue to love one another. For love comes from God. Anyone who loves is born of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. You are surrounded by the beauty and love and light of one of God's greatest gifts marriage to an amazing and selfless woman who's going to love and cherish you for the rest of your life. May your marriage be full of more love than you can experience in this life lifetime. Now go make some grandkids. I promise to always be here for you, to listen and hold your hand everywhere we go. I'll always do my best to make you happy and make you feel loved. I'll be here to see you through any challenges we may face, to pray with you, dream with you, build with you, and always be your biggest cheerleader. Now you may seal your, your marriage with a kiss, unless you've done that already. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Cummings. <laughs>